So here it is, I'm Rogue Hawk Wilson, welcoming you into my home, and today I just wanted to continue our review series of the streaming services, and this time we're going to focus on HBO Max. And honestly, this is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, new streaming service. Disney Plus was uh, a little rocky at first, but it turned out to be amazing. And HBO Max kind of took the whole idea of having a ton of streaming services within one and just amplified it to a whole new level. Um, the issues I have with HBO Max, I'll get out of the way first. First and foremost, it is not accessible on all streaming service platforms yet. And... Um, I primarily have to use my phone in order to access it as it has not updated on my Roku TV. So that's kind of frustrating. But also, um, if your app hasn't updated, then unfortunately you don't have access to everything that you have. But HBO Max as a service has access to Cartoon Network, Studio Ghibli, Turner Classic Movies, um, or Turner Movie Classics, whatever it's called, um, eight, all of HBO shows, and a bunch of others. And, you know, there's an old Simpsons episode that does a conspiracy theory that these streaming services are making so much content so we can't watch everything. But HBO Max really does carry out the idea of giving people a wide variety and believe it or not there's actually even an Elmo late night talk show on this thing like they're they're meeting the demographics that they haven't always met through HBO and are really focusing on quality over just quantity the streaming services that have decided to work with them including DC so if you don't have DC um, DC streaming service, you can access it through this service, which I think is huge. It doesn't give you absolutely everything, but HBO really went all out here, and I think that's worth acknowledging. Ultimately, this is this is one of the top tier, yet it's also one of the most expensive streaming services out there. They do have a they did have a thing where you could pre purchase and get a discount for 12 months but a lot of people didn't do that I imagine because they were happy with HBO now and that's ultimately gonna make it a $14.99 a month kind of service granted that I believe that is the price of HBO now so the fact that they're keeping it at the same price and that they offered a lower price is even more impressive to me ultimately I think this is everything that we should have deserved from HBO Max and the fact that even more services and originals are going to come just makes this an even better service. Granted, yes, I, I only had a few grievances with this service, but I'm very impressed. With that, I'll see you guys in another video. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Keep up the nerd stuff, and I'll see you in another video.